Yo. So today we're gonna do some odd jobs. Um, I wanna clean up these granite paths today. Um, pull some weeds out if I can. Um, and just shape up some areas because there is a little bit of a Humpty Dumpty bumpties everywhere. So we're going to try out the John Deere 1025R, put it through its paces, see how it does um, for such a little compact tractor. Let's do it. Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip fit. Right, so we've got this area just here that is chock-a-block full of grass and weeds and other stuff. It's actually supposed to be part of the car park right here and have some granite underneath it and stuff. So the plan is just to pull all the grass out just so it looks nice and tidy um, and just even up some Humpty Dumps as I said before through the middle there as well, just where it's washed. Cause I've had a season of just rain, 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 which is why there's so many weeds through here. Um, up the top section, just up here, we might just have to spray that with some um, non-selective weed killer, if you know what I'm getting at. Um, but, yeah, let's start with this. I wanna see, <coughs> whoa, see if this thing, um, will just dig out and, and do it. I haven't used a tractor for ages, so let's see how my skills are. <laughs> Scary though, it needs some weight on the back because as soon as you dig in too much it goes, hey, the back of it comes up. So it needs like a slasher on the back where you can get like weight boxes and stuff, which they did tell me at Ashton Piers you need something like that if you're doing some more heavy work. And I do know someone on YouTube mentioned that too. And John, I can't remember your last name, John Courtney? Anyway, let's keep going. Oh my gosh, that thing, it 100% needs some weight on the back. If you get a full bucket, like especially along the side here, where it's a slight bit of an angle, you guys probably can't see it on camera. You get a full bucket, um, it starts to tip. It nearly tipped before, so I'm gonna get little buckets for safety. Um, but you can see, so what I'm doing is I'm just scraping along the edge here um, where the old curb is, because it's just piled up with dirt and stuff. Um, and I was thinking to myself, I'm probably going to have to put a drain down there because it is so low coming from the driveway all the way up the top there. But there is a drain here. <laughs> There's an old bit of drain. Look at this. You see that? Old bit of drain there. So I wonder if I can take the cap off it once I've cleaned all out and see if we can get that to actually work. Because at the moment, the water does all sit down there and it is super super wet so definitely an idea to do that um so i'll keep going with it i just gotta get some diesel now because it's actually pretty low i don't want to run a diesel engine dry you guys know what happens when that happens um so the reason i'm putting the pole there as well is because the bucket's just a little bit too big for the gator and it's a little bit too high up so as soon as i was lifting it up the back tires started to flick forwards as well so that's why i'm not lifting the dirt into the back of the gator and doing that i'm gonna get a trailer put it on the back of the gator so it'll be a bit lower dump into that and take it out into the paddock and I'll reuse this dirt somewhere um, I'm sure I can use it somewhere when I'm building something so I'll leave a little pile somewhere um, the grass will well, some of the grass might survive but we can just get rid of that um, but yeah get some diesel and I'll be back
to clean this drain off and just see CCC if it's still working or there's pipe running out of it down there somewhere. Um, so I get a shovel and just clean it off a bit and see if I can lift a lid off. Well, it's definitely a drain there, and I'll tell you what, that would work fine. It's a pretty, um, pretty decent drain. And the good thing is, it's clean down there, like there's no dirt or anything. Look at those roots though, from that Kaikuyu and stuff. Wow. Them fibers. That nice big Kaikuyu runner there. Woo, holy doody. Oh well, that's good, that's good. So I can run the driveway to all, like drain to that point, so just create a little bit of a swale. Is that the word? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> keep cleaning, but that's good. I need to get that out and wash out all that crap from there now. Um, so I might slightly tidy up around the edges and just put it back on. Check this out. Oh, she's decent. Well, I think that is going to do me for today because I've run out of all my memory cards because that's taken me five, six, seven, eight, or eight hours of doing that. Um, love it. I honestly missed using tractors. I know it's a tiny little thing um, and it needs a bit of weight on the back, but I'm actually pretty impressed with the job that it has done overall in the end, which is just awesome. I'm just seeing if I'm recording. Yep, I am recording. Oh, <laughs> that would have sucked. Um, I still have to come to a level that's a bit better. There's a little bit of a dip just there. Um, I probably need to get some more granite to actually fill in a couple of areas here and there. But mate, like, looks so much better. Like, so much better. Like, and the amount of material we got out of here is just absolutely ridiculous. Um, <laughs> look at that. Oh, flip. That is just crazy. So that would be probably... Ooh, I reckon that'd be six meters, like, yeah, probably about six meters of soil. So that's obviously just run down from the top over time and just form down the bottom there. Um, which, I mean, you know, could have taken 20 years for it to do that. Like, this is quite an old car park with the curb and everything. So I'll be interested to see where that, um, that pipe down the bottom, and that bit of stormwater pipe actually goes from that pit, I'd say it might even go to the dam, we'll find out. It'll be interesting to see where it drains. Um, yeah, really glad I did that, because it's gonna look so much tidier when I'm mowing around here. Obviously, I'll clean this edge up as well, along the curb. There's some grass hanging over the top, bit of grass there, but battery's nearly flat on the cameras. I've recharged the batteries all day long, even swapped out memory cards and blah, 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 so it's all good. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Sorry if it was, I mean, not sorry, but it's something different. Um, cause there's not a lot of mowing to go on at the moment. Well, not a lot of stuff because springtime still isn't quite here. It's getting close. Um, next video I might actually mow this paddock down the bottom here cause it's starting to actually dry out now, which is so awesome. Um, but yeah, thanks guys so much for watching. Appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Spring is definitely in the air. You can see blossoms on all of these trees just here. There's a bee there, get away. Don't stick me. Um, but good sign, spring is coming. Pre-merchant time, basically, in the next week or two, you know what I mean? So, we'll get barricade down soon, but 
Yeah, sign that spring's coming and that the season is starting to kick off and that weeds are about to start germinating. Grass down, but that was going to sound really good, but it didn't. And grass is about to start growing. <laughs> See you.